before we get too far into showing you guys how I made this thing look so cool, go ahead and like and subscribe. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. I've got links in the bottom for affiliate links that helps me out, helps me make better videos, you know, be able to get cooler stuff to show you guys. And YouTube doesn't like a lot of my videos, especially the ones with the guns in them. So anything you guys can do to help make my videos more viewable, I would really appreciate. What's going on guys? The surplus market for used military gear is really hot right now. There's a lot of uh, multicam stuff out because this stuff's been out for a while. It's starting to get recycled with newer stuff. And uh, there's just a lot of good things you can get for you know not a whole lot of money. Like this thing, this is a TAP. It's a tactical assault panel. Um, it's for the you know the U.S. Army. I think the Marines have their version of one. But uh, this one, you know, it comes with six magazine holders right here in the front. A uh, big radio pocket on each side. It's even got some cool mesh stuff on the back. You know, one of them's even got the zipper. You know, put maps, first aid kit, maybe whatever in there. Um, it's got a harness it comes with. But you know. This thing's cool uh, for the military. It's got a lot of good features, but there's a lot of things we can upgrade on it to make it even better. Like the first thing we're gonna do is get rid of this little harness right here, which on the front, it's not that bad. You know, it's thin. It's got some molly up here, uh, buckle, quick buckles in. But on the back is really where it's lacking. It's just got like one down strap, kind of like the old uh, like Vietnam Alice style, you know, uh, I guess a Y harness is what you'd call it. And then it breaks and splits across the back into one like straight strap and then mounts on the side right here with just one buckle which you know it's not ideal because it doesn't mount all the way on the edge and you just get a lot of movability like movability is that a word you get a lot of movement because you know it's only one point right in the middle so what we're going to do to upgrade this is put a uh, h harness kit which if i can get it apart See here, this is the uh, back strap. It goes around like the waist. It's got these repair buckles. They're split like that. They're made to like go over the one inch webbing for the molly, like clip in. I'll show you in just a second. But anyway, it's got a back strap and then it's got your H harness. So you've got the two front straps right here and a buckle. This part is gonna come out, but it's gonna click right in. So you've got two of these, you know, one for each shoulder. And then on the back, you know, it looks kind of like this. It splits out. And this actually comes around. And uh, it's got the split buckle also. It's going to come around and attach here on the top. And then your, uh, your back strap is going to mount on the bottom. So you have two points. It'll go like under and then connect to the back strap up there. So that's one thing we're going to do. Second thing is we're going to put this HSGI bungee kit on there on these middle four magazine holders you see there's like molly above them we're going to use that and the molly on the front right here we're going to put a bungee retention on it we're going to cut these off because these suck they probably don't suck they're just not great they don't hold p mags very well either because p mags are bigger than the steel mags so we're going to cut these little flaps out of the middle four and we're going to put the bungees on there uh, which would still leave us two right here and here right there um, with the flaps so you know you can do whatever you might can put some kydex in there uh, and then you got the two big pockets on the outside i'm probably going to use one for a radio but anyway you can put six to eight magazines on the front just the way it comes and then you've got all this real estate this molly on the front to put you know more mags like a triple shingle uh, whatever double stack mags you can put first aid pouches radio pouches night vision pouches, whatever you want to do. So let's get started. All right, so we got our HSGI bungees. We got our H harness from Cryptek with the uh, little back piece. And we got our tap from Venture Surplus. So let's move all this stuff out of the way. First thing we got to do, we got to lay this thing down. We got to get the old harness off. Just disconnect the top, disconnect the two sides, and that old harness is gone. All right, next thing, after we get the harness out, we gotta cut these, uh, cut these four flaps out of the middle so we can get the bungees on. I just take a little razor or a razor blade and just kind of snip those little threads in between the flap and the fabric. So I'm just gonna get the whole thing out of there. You can just cut the top off if you want. 
I like to cut the whole thing. After we get the back flaps, we gotta get the ones on the front. These, they're kind of hard to kind of snip out because they're integrated into the molly webbing. So I just take the blade and slice it as flush as I can right across the top on all four of them. Alright, so we got our bungee, uh, loop it through the little tab on one side, run it down through and back up the molly on the front. Then we're going to take that in, go back through the tab. So you can either do it in the middle, put both through one side and have it stand straight up, or you can go side to side, kind of like this. I haven't really decided which one's better yet. Uh, I'm going to rock it like I got it right here and then, you know, go from there. Anyway. Take the other two, I went from the top down through the back molly, and that way the knot would be on the bottom. Uh, some people I've seen put the knot in the front, on the very front of the panel. I figured I'd like to put it like in the mag pocket just to get it out of the way, look a little cleaner, but you know, if I have problems with it, uh, the mag coming in and out, I'll move the knot to the front, but right now I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. Yeah, just get that bungee, work that knot down there. You gotta get it pretty, about as tight as you can get it by hand, because there's not a lot of, the, the strips of molly are like one's higher than the other. So you kinda have to get them kinda tight or it's gonna be too loose for the bag to go in. All right, so the next thing, we gotta cut these side straps off. If you were, in the military using issued gear you didn't want to damage it or cut it you can just kind of i guess tuck these straps in uh, behind the pouches on the front or you know find some way to hold on to them but i'm not in the military uh, this isn't issued gear so i'm going to cut the straps all the way off because i don't see myself ever needing them in the future so just take your razor your scissors whatever cut them off and burn the edges i cut it as close to that thread line as i can get it uh, and then just burn the edges and kind of mat it down with a burnt nylon or burnt plastic. Then flip it over, do the same thing on the other side, cut it off close to that thread line, and then burn the edges smooth. Since the, the tap has a zippered pocket on the back, I've got two extra uh, retention bungees. I'm just gonna put those in that zippered pocket. That way I can have them there for later. I wanna do the other two in the future. All right, so now we're gonna get the uh, H harness. And you see these buckles that come with it, the Cryptek harness, they have the repair buckle attached to it. It's got a slot in it, so all you gotta do is pick the molly up, uh, hook it from the bottom, and then slide the top over the top of the strap, and it locks it right in there. And once you do it with that top buckle, you take the, uh, the separate back strap, disconnect that buckle, and it's gonna go on the bottom molly webbing right there. So like I said, just pick it up, slide one end under it, get it up in there kind of tight, and then the top part will just kind of hook onto it and they'll, they'll both be behind the webbing. So once we uh, do that on one side, flip it over, repeat steps on the other side.
now that we got all four of those connected in place, we go back to the H harness, get the two front straps, uh, disconnect the buckles off of those. You can actually get rid of these or just put them out of the way. We're not going to use them because the tap has the two female uh, quick connect buckles already attached, or male, I should say. So all we need are the female ends that are attached to the harness. Just click them on and you're done. And then take the side straps, click them to the top buckle on each side. Those are the ones that are going up under your armpit. So you do it on one side, do it on the other. And then that single strap will go on the bottom uh, buckle on each side. And that's the one that'll kind of go around your waist on the bottom of the chest harness. All right, got all the straps on, got all the buckles connected. Load this thing up with some P-Mags and uh, see what it looks like when we get four across the front and see how those bungees uh, work out and see how they hold those mags. Here's the, uh, the final product. So you got the H harness on the back. Got this little strap right here. Uh, I've got eight mags across the middle, across the front, I guess. Four in the middle with the, uh, the bungees. So you can see, mags come out real easy. You can get them back in fairly easily. So we've got the bungees on the top, they're not coming out. These two P mags right here are barely hanging on with the Velcro. Like I said, because the uh, pouches are kind of made more for the steel mags, which are a little bit shorter. So I'll have to figure out something to do here. Some people put like grommets um, up here, like a little hole, a rivet or a grommet there to run the bungee through. I might end up doing that because I don't know how much I like this being here. And these big pockets right here, you could probably fit a radio like a, um, I know you could fit a Baofang with an extended battery, like a UV5R. You could probably fit the, uh, was it the 152, like the embitter size right there. You know, I don't know how well it's gonna do up on your armpit, but you know, it's one of those things you gotta try. But I'm, right now I've got some steel mags with the little mag pull grips on them. All right, sorry about that. The kids came out, lost my train of thought. I think I was talking about uh, maybe the radio pouches on the sides right here. So yeah, they're uh, the same depth. Just the flaps are a little bit taller, so you can fit a taller item in there. The clips on the top are one inch clips, like the quick fast X, whatever you want to call them, the side buckles, side release buckles. So this H harness uh, fits right in there, right there. And on this side, just clip right in. This one's pretty nice, it's flat. It's got wide straps, probably an inch and a half, two inches wide maybe, a little bit of padding. But it's also got two little molly loops and the one in the middle is elastic. So you can run your radio antenna, your radio cord, your water, whatever you want to run through there. Maybe some people like to put tourniquets and stuff, um, flashlights, GPSs, whatever you want to put up there. So anyway, I've got the four in the front with the bungees, then two more right here that I'm probably going to end up putting bungees on, and then the two big pockets. But like I was saying earlier, these straps are good uh, because they're kind of wide, but they're still flat enough to wear a backpack with and you know you don't have that much you know padding stacking on top of each other the uh the chest rig that i had on not had on but the one that i was using before this was a uh condor I think it was like a recon or something like that it had big padded straps so even when you shouldered your rifle it was kind of bulky and weird and when you add um, a pack or something else on top of it and you're stacking two fat pieces of padding together. It just gets real weird. I'm trying to put the butt stock, butt stock of your rifle in your shoulder. But see, this isn't that bad. It does get a little bulky with the straps going across here, depending on what you've got under the armpits here. This one, uh, I'll probably end up adding some pouches to, just some things to make it more usable. I'll probably end up putting my night vision like a night vision pouch. It's a canteen with an insert, 
probably put it over here that way i can run the actual canteen in there if i want to and take the insert out put the canteen in I'm running night vision put the insert back in put night vision in there i'll probably put something across the front uh, maybe like a gp pouch a lot of guys are doing that it seems to be pretty cool uh pretty good thing pretty good setup i end up putting probably a ifac right here first aid pouch on this side i might be able to kind of stuff the ifac stuff on the back but i don't really know if i like that because it's kind of hard to get to you got to worry about these buckles getting them out getting digging all this you know whatever i just like to be able to get to it from the outside have a uh, tourniquet and my ifac so there's that i could even put a dangler up under here figure out a way to attach a dangler to some of that molly or something up under here i like the the dangler ifac right there um yeah that's about it probably put uh maybe a speed reload up here just to get you know like one mag so you don't have to worry about the bungees maybe one of those speed reloads you can get those off surplus websites uh, army navy outdoor avenger surplus they've got them like five ten bucks it's one of those like usmc speed reloads pretty cool if not you can put like a kydex you can put a g-code scorpion either one of those will work even like those elastic Ooh, that might be cool too those elastic um i can't think of blue force gear maybe that'd be pretty cool something to get one mag in and out really quick i think i've done enough rambling about all the different things on this so let's go over kind of a summary if you will the tap itself i think i got it for 40 dollars on venture surplus it was marked um what is it not decommissioned or maybe it is decommissioned something like that it's not usable not serviceable for the military um that means it's got something on it that makes it to where they can't use it that's why there's this big mark right here i can't see what it says dr nd or something on it some mark lets them know it's not usable so i got it for 40 bucks on sale at venture surplus came with the harness this thing so there's 40 in that 25 or 30 in the h harness and this and it came with all the repair buckles to make it work so we're at what 65 70 the bungee kit i think was another 10 bucks so 75 80 bucks you've got a really nice high quality chest rig that can hold eight magazines and you've got tons of molly real estate from armpit to armpit all kind of, i'm not going to count them up because it's a lot but anyway high quality chest rig multi-cam the whole deal is multi-cam for all you multi-cam cool guys 75 80 bucks can't beat it 